In this video we will learn how Easter is determined each year. Easter is one of the most important Christian holidays, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The date of Easter changes each year, which can often lead to confusion and questions about how it is determined. The short answer is that Easter is always observed on the first Sunday following the first full moon after the vernal equinox, but the actual calculation is a bit more complicated than that. The vernal equinox, also known as the spring equinox, marks the first day of spring in the northern hemisphere. It occurs when the sun is directly above the equator, resulting in equal amounts of daylight and darkness. This typically falls on March 20th or 21st each year. The next key component in determining the date of Easter is the full moon. Specifically, it's the first full moon that occurs after the vernal equinox. This full moon is known as the Paschal full moon. Once the date of the Paschal full moon has been determined, the date of Easter is set as the first Sunday following it. The calculation for determining the date of the Paschal full moon is based on a set of complex rules known as the computers. The computers takes into account the cycle of the moon, as well as the time of the equinox. The rules were established by the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD and have been used ever since to calculate the date of Easter. The computers requires a bit of math, which is done using a system of apacts, which are the ages of the moon on January 1st of each year. The apacts are used to determine the date of the Paschal full moon, which is then used to calculate the date of Easter. In some cases, the date of Easter may be different in the Eastern and Western Christian traditions. This is because the Eastern Church uses a slightly different calendar than the Western Church. However, in most cases, the date of Easter falls on the same day for both traditions. In conclusion, the date of Easter is determined by a complex set of rules known as the computers, which takes into account the vernal equinox, the cycle of the moon, and the rules established by the Council of Nicaea. While the calculation may seem complicated, the result is a consistent and meaningful way to celebrate one of the most important holidays in the Christian faith. Like the video and subscribe to our channel.